What'd I say? I said I want to play. Hey, nerdlings. What's up, nerdlings? I got us a pickup lately. We don't do a whole lot of tabletop stuff, despite the fact that we do enjoy some tabletop games, including card games. Yes. We especially love card games that are very portable. Exactly. Versus the card games that aren't portable. Yeah, because there's like, you know, some of those things are completely <laughs> hard things. Shut up. Just shut up. So a channel that I really love to listen to when I'm at work is The Y Files. This is a, a very fun channel, lots of conversation pieces because they'll cover all kinds of things. Legends, mysteries, conspiracy theories. And I love the format that it's done because it sucks you in and you start like believing all of the evidence to this or that. And you're like, oh, oh you know, I never thought of this before, but now I'm totally a believer. His partner, Hecklefish, certainly helps to win you over. <laughs> Exactly. And by the end of the video, though, he comes back almost retcons everything that he just told he you. Can he can kind just of disprove it. it. Yeah. And, and so that's fun because then he leaves it up to you to decide what you're willing to believe. A little while back, I had to get you the Hecklefish plush, which you love. The moon landing was fake. It, it was not. It was real. <laughs> For this video, we're going to assume the moon landing was not faked. We are going to assume the moon landing was real. You'll believe anything. Oh, you and him are going to be butting mm -hmm. heads, which mm -hmm. may hurt because he's got his... Well, he doesn't have it now. Anyway, <laughs> the game that I picked up for us was Go How Hecklefish. are we supposed to play this without our tin hats? And, well, go make us some tin foil hats. <laughs> I'll wait. I need some protection over here. Where do you, pal? There we go. Yeah, I don't know why, but that feels so much better. I know it does. I love all of the art on the... On the cards here, like lizard people, lizard people lizard right people. off the bat. Do you want to try to shuffle these or do you want to go through the rules? It's a simple and entertaining card game suitable for players of all ages. Rules can be customized and adapted for preferences. If there are two or three players, deal seven cards to each player. The goal of the game is to collect sets of four cards in the same category. Player with the most category sets of four at the end of the game is the winner. It's a really hard to shuffle. All right, well, ladies first, so you go. Should you go I ask right you ahead. for something? Yep, yep. You want to make some pairs. Do you have any lizard people? Lizard people? Yep. Go hecklefish. Ow. <laughs> Do you have any Mr. Naughties? Boom! Right there. What the hell? Boom. Right. Do you have any AJs? Go hecklefish. You look like a one-man boy band still chasing a dream. Do you have any tinfoil hats? <laughs> okay, fine. Do you have any tinfoil hats? Is this how we're going to play it? This is how we're going to play this. <laughs> Do you have any tinfoil hats? <laughs> <laughs> you like that, huh? <laughs> Do you got any possessed artifacts? Go hecklefish. Do you have any monoliths? Do you have any tinfoil hats? Thank you. Do you have any more monoliths? No, go hecklefish. Fine. Uh, is anybody seeing this? Hello? Do you have any tinfoil hats? Do you have any government cover ups? Go hecklefish. Look at all these government cover ups. They don't want you to know. Don't, don't be creepy. Do you have any more tinfoil hats? Yay, I can finally get something out of my hand. Cowboy hat, a baseball hat, a Viking helmet, and then Hershey Kiss tinfoil yeah, hat. Because, you know, you want to be stylish with your tinfoil hats. <laughs> You're a little obsessed. Yeah, I'm obsessed. What was that? <laughs> that means go hecklefish. Um. Do you have a hecklefish now? Go hecklefish. <laughs> Do you have any shadow people? Oh, literally just pick that up. Good. Yay! Oh, I oh, got four. Oh no! Lizard people, check out the lizard people. Nice. Abraham Lizard, Queen Elizabeth. These are these are pretty great. Lizard Bam Beethoven. Nice. Do you have any cryptids? Boy, 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I can uh, see all my cards again. No, every time someone hits the like button, I feel a tingling in my dorsal fin. Whoa! Oh boy, someone just did it! Do you have any aliens? I've got this saucy little number. Oh, hello. White aliens? <laughs> Seems racist. Go <laughs> wow, wow. Alright, so we got our, uh, I got a band of hecklefish here. An aviator, detective, the DJ, and Scottish Lord oh. hecklefish. What terrifies me is that face. Crap cap? Nope. Do you have any cryptids? I mean... Okay, well, apparently there are only two crab cats then, so I should have stopped asking for crab cats. <laughs> uh, Sheep. For those curious on the crab cat, if a player draws or receives the crab cat card on that or any subsequent turn, they can put the card in front of them and say, Oh my case! And take one category set from any other player. Oh, Once they play the crab cat, their turn is over and the card cannot be used again. The player holding the crab cat card when the game ends, they automatically lose, even if they have the most completed category sets. So even if you didn't whoop my butt at having all the sets, <laughs> I would have double lost here. Jedi mind trick? Yep. Nice. So that's good to know. Yeah. Uh, we didn't know that. Finish reading the rules. I guess so. It just goes to show what <laughs> Why reading all the rules. Why would you want to read the rules? Ooh, fine. I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. Oh, that old gem. <laughs> I got a million of them. You definitely won. Yay! So, so what do you think of Go Heckle? This was a lot of fun. I was worried about the bigger cards just because, you know, it's like having all those cards in your hand, but it was still a lot of fun. And it's actually like looking at all the different monsters on here and their takes on them is pretty cute. Like the Loch Ness monster. I'm very, very close to my heart for Nessie. Love her. I will leave a link in the description below just in case you want to check out some of the fun merch that they have over at Y Files. We have absolutely yes. no affiliation no. with them. I would love to because they're super entertaining, AJ mm -hmm. and Hecklefish here. And even if you don't want any of the merch, I recommend you check out the channel anyway. Yes. Surely there's something in the mystery conspiracy realm that you would like. They have great production values. They really do their work and their research. They're a lot of fun. And like I said before, it's a great thing to listen to at work. They're yes. longer form episodes. So for me at work, I love it. His voice is actually kind of a nice melodic tone to it. It's not kind of piercing in any way. So it, it's very easy listening as That's well. That's true. So we're trying to do a show here and you can just jump in and do whatever you Not Until this guy pipes up, well, yeah. and then that wakes you up. But that's fun, though. But yeah, this game was a lot of fun. It's a nice, fun, quick, fast-paced game. And, you know, everyone knows Go Fish, so it's a nice, fun <laughs> variant on it and everything. So. All right, well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, nerds. Go Heckle Fish. What I say? I don't know. What did you say? I will be a strict but fair lord of these lands, and my serfs will come to idolize me. There you go. So it's a great... You got any relics? Go heckle fish. Heckle away. Oh, I'm gonna take my lizard people. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Elvis lizard people. <laughs> Elvis Presley. Got any aliens? Heckle fish. Gosh. Heckle, heckle, heckle. <laughs> nah, that's, that's something yeah, different. Yeah, that's dude. something different. That's a different game. <laughs> Like that.